everybody. Welcome to Stampers Club. I'm Karen Tralfa and I'm very excited that you're joining me here today. I have a great springy card for you. It's going to be made with the new Flowering Rain Boot stamp set. I know you're going to like that. It's got like, this is just like a, such an easy way to stamp, just like quick and easy because there's, you know, it's not line art. It's actually full bold images. So that's really kind of nice too. And um, i Really appreciate everybody that comes by, all the lovely comments that everybody's been making. I really enjoy watching and, co and communicating with each and every one of you. Of course, if you ever have a question, make sure that you just put a comment down below and I'd be happy to answer your questions. Uh, if you have any recommendations or suggestions that you'd like to see, I'd be happy to show you some new tools and, tri t tools and tricks and things like that. And of course, you can always see more details on every single card that I make on my website at www.stampersclub.com. You're welcome to pop on over there and you'll get a list of you know, coordinating products, the items that I use to make the project, all the things that you need to know. Of course, feel free to share the video. We always like that. That's a great compliment when somebody shares my video. And I would love actually for you to um, create something with this stamp set on your own and bop on over to my Facebook page, my Stampers Club Facebook page, and you could share what you're creating with the stamp set too. I'd love to see that kind of stuff. And of course, don't remember, don't forget to remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll always get extra notifications when I have new fun stuff come out. So let me show you what we're going to be using today. It's the, like I said, the Flowering Rain Boot Stamp Set which has a coordinating set of dies. So just about all the images, actually all the images, just not the verses, but all of the images have um, a coordinating frame. And then we have a couple of extra little elements. We have this really cute little garden rake, and then this little lattice piece is always fun too. I'm not using that today, but I am gonna be using that. So I'm gonna be using the, the uh, garden rake, um, I don't need the boots, but we're going to be using the flower, the two, this, this one that cuts out the flowers. So I'm just going to pull those out right now. And I'm going to set that aside so that you can see how to make this lovely card that I'm going to show you. And if you want to stamp along, some of the things that you're going to need are a half a sheet of Daffodil Delight. Now this is uh, five and a half by eight and a half. So if you look, you know, this is just a, like a half sheet of cardstock. You're going to need just a scrap piece of daffodil also, some scrap magenta mag madness, a piece of uh, scrap piece of whisper white, whoops, so these are all scraps, Wisp, uh, basic white, ma ma magenta madness, daffodil, uh, smoky slate, and I need a two and three quarter by three quarter inch piece of basic white. And then this piece is uh, three and seven eighths by two and five eighths. So that's three and seven eighths by two and five eighths. And then uh, this is some designer paper that is uh, free with the celebration that's going on January and February of 2022. Today is uh, January 7th of 2022. So these are some brand new products. The catalog just went live a few days ago. And this is a marvelous cardstock or pay, uh, designer pair, series pay, pack that you can actually get for free with a $50 purchase. You get this very nice coordinating set of, of uh, marvelous pattern designer paper that comes in uh, like balmy blue, basic gray, bumblebee, coastal cabana, flamingo, gorgeous gray, Highland had a whole bunch of nice coordinating color so it's a great background and of course it's double sided so you have a bolder back bar a bolder marble and then a lighter more shadowy type marble so let me show you what we're going to need what we're going to make so I'm going to get started with some of my die cutting pieces that I need first okay and I'm going to bring in my stamp and cut machine Okay, we'll get that here. I don't need the impression plate. What I need are the, the base plate, the um, spacer plate, a clear plate, and then a second clear plate we'll need. And for right now, I'm just going to use the Daffodil Delight cardstock scrap, and I'm bringing in the um, scallop uh, 
Scalloped Contours die set. This does match a stamp set, but I love that we have just these basic shapes that go with it. Um, I'm going to use the large, the second largest scallop in this. I'm trying to get like an element focal point going on my card here. So I'm gonna let's get that cut. This machine cuts so nice. It's got a nice firm grip, but yet it's it's pretty easy to actually crank. Doesn't take too much effort. Okay, let me get that out of the way. Put my weights out of the way. And voila, don't you love when we do the scallops with it? It just has this little bit of stitching in it too, so you get this nice little outline. Okay. And then I'm also going to need to stamp with Magenta Madness the tulips that are in that set. So we're going to just, on a scrap piece of uh, basic white cardstock, I'm just going to stamp those tulips in magenta. Okay. And I'm going to have to cut those out also. And my, my mini machine fits better on my table for under the camera, so I'm going to grab that because it's a little easier. And we need... These line up perfectly. Look at that. And it's just this row of tulips, of vibrant pink tulips. I think I, yeah, I don't have that one side there. There we go. I'm looking at it sideways. Let me grab a piece of washi tape. My die keeps to sliding around. Sometimes they slide around, and if you just kind of give them a little bend uh, upward on the side, they lay, you know, as you use them, they sometimes warp a little bit. Actually, that looks good like that. I don't need the washi tape. And we're just gonna well, put it in there. Need that. So we got some tulips going on there. And then since I have this out right now, I'm going to get this um, basic gray or a uh, smoky slate rather and this pink, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and um, no I'll cut them separate. So I'm gonna need this is the little garden rake. So I want to cut one out of smoky slate. I guess I could have layered it up, but I'm not wasn't sure on this die whether it cuts two pieces of cardstock or not. And then I'm gonna get one out of the Magenta Madness cardstock. This is like such a bright pink. Okay. So we have two little two little garden rakes there. Get that out of the way. All right, so we have two little garden rakes. That's all right. So let's get started with us, with putting our card and getting our card put together here. So again, this is a half a sheet of Daffodil Delight, eight and a half by five and a half. You could pre-score this at four and a quarter if if you have um, if you have a scoreboard handy. Mine's not, so I'm just going to fold it in half and use my bone folder to get a nice little crisp fold on there. Just broke a fingernail. You ever had that happen? Have you? Busted that. All right, I'm going to use my marvelous paper, my DSP, find my tape, and that's going to get put right down onto the card. You could mat this if you really wanted to with another color. Depends how many layers you want on your card. Okay. Then I'm going to get my this this scalloped. I just measured the inside of this of the stitching to come up with the size of the paper that I needed. And like I said, it was, it was three and seven eighths by two and five eighths. And it's gonna go in this direction. And I'm gonna get some smoky slate ink and the rain boots image. Since this is a photopolymer, clear photopolymer set, you really don't have to like guess at where you're putting it at. We're gonna get right down to the bottom. Hopefully I'm at the bottom, my head in the camera. 
And I'm going to put my boots, I want the top of the boots to be level because we're going to add some flowers to it. I love this high low. Look how it's just, it's like watercolored just for you. You don't have to do anything, just stamp it. It's got this pretty watercolor. And then using old olive ink and the leaves images. So this is the, the stems and the leaves of the flowers that just goes right inside the boots. And since it's a clear photopolymer set, you can look right through there and line it up. I'm a little crooked. I'm trying not to get to my head in the camera. Again, that was old olive. Okay, and then this I'm going to put some tape on and get it layered right inside of that stitching. Center it up there. Okay. And this I want on dimensionals. So we're going to get a few dimensionals here. Get these little buggers off the back. And that's going to just go right in the center of your card. Okay. I'm going to take my tulips. I'm going to add a few dimensionals on that. I think I'll get the minis so that they, they make sure they fit in there. And those are going to layer up right over the stems that are there in the image below it. It's so quick and easy to do that. Then I'm going to get a greeting. I'm going to use that um, little strip of basic white. Again, that was two and three quarters by three quarters, I believe. And this is the lovely labels punch. So this punch allows you to actually get two, well, multiple, depending on how, how wide you put your paper. You get different different images or different punch shapes depending on how wide you do your paper, okay? I'm going to go three quarters and this is going to fit in between some of the little ridges. So I want to stay right in between there because that helps keep me square with the punch and I'm just going to punch that side and see you get this really pretty little edge, right? I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, get it all the way into the punch, but yet it's still sitting between these ridges down here. And punch that side. And voila. You lose about a quarter of an inch on your cut, between an eighth and a quarter of an inch. So whatever size you want your paper, you just make it a little bit bigger like that. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to my Magenta Madness. And the greening of rain or shine, I'm here for you. I like being here for you. That's so nice. And you notice that I have my greeting uh, kitty corner on the block. And that helps me be able to see. Sometimes if I put them on those thin blocks, the edges of the block make it so that I can't quite line up with this smaller piece of paper. So it's easier for me, because I have astigmatism in both eyes, actually, that if I just make it crooked, to start with, I seem to get it to be lining up the right way. And then since it's clear, I can see the whole piece of paper below me very nicely laid out through the clear block. And then I'm going to go stamp right down. And I just have a better way of, it just seems like it's easier for me to line up that way. All right, so i got that. And I want to get this on a couple of dimensionals. And I want to put them closer to the side here. So I'll get a couple of them, but I want them not quite all the way across. So I'll just do a center and a left with the greeting just flipped upside down this way. And I want to, because I want to have it hang off a little bit. I'm going to put it right across the paper here, right across the boots. And I'm going to kind of make sure it stays inside my card there. And then let's get this fun little detail. I get my little garden rake here. I'm going to get the second garden rake in magenta and some paper snips. And I'm just going to cut off the rake, what would traditionally be not the handle. So everything, I just want to keep the handle. Okay. Get some liquid glue because this 
tape is a little too hard for these little pieces. Uh, I call it my green glue. This is my favorite adhesive, by the way. You, it lasts, seems to last forever. And a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to very lightly squeeze on that bottle and I'm, and I'm just putting a super, super thin layer and get that in the right direction. And I'm going to glue those two pieces together. So now you can have a garden rake, any color you want. And I wanted a pink one. Because, you know, we're girls, we like pink. Well, not all of us are, but they're still fun. We got pink flowers, we got to have matching, matching cards, okay? And then I'm going to take the edge of my dimensional sheet. You could do this multiple ways. I just want something off the edge because I use all the scraps and I want to just cut a really thin strip of dimensional foam. Of course, I have to get both sides of the backing off on this one now. And I'm going to put it on the inside here of just the handle. Okay, I just want the handle like that. And we're going to add that right next to the boots. We're just going to kind of, yeah, like right about there. So we have our, our rake going next to our boots here. And it looks like it's just, you know, you could, you could glue this side down if you want, add a little glue to that, a little liquid glue to hold that down if you want, but I just did it under the handle and it works just fine. And look at this really cute, you know, flowers, just coming out, you know, it looks like it's like a cloudy day here, right? So you have like an overcasty day with these pretty, pretty spring flowers. Now, if you want to brighten that up, you can use another piece of that marvelous paper. I use the one that is in the Coastal Cabana. So it, this one looks like it's, you know, a nice bright sunny day and you've just gone out with your muck boots in your garden and made a, a real cute little plant of uh, pink tulips. So you get two, you know, you get a, a little bit of a rainy and a little bit of a sunny card out of the same, the same package of designer paper. Simply just switching out the colors in the designer paper, you get a totally different look with basically the same card. Um, I would love to see what you do with your flowering and rain boots stamp set. Of course, you could get the free paper or coordinate it with a lot of the other designer papers in the catalog. Feel free to share what you have. Like I said, on my Facebook page, you can go ahead and post stuff there too and share your ideas. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you get notifications of future, future videos that I do. And you all have a very stamp happy day. Bye now.